once again is brand man sean and as you can see once again i have a very special guest many of you may know this guy's face and if you don't know you're going to get to know him and i'm sure you'll be seeing quite a bit more of him this is jens the guru a digital marketer for a lot of indie artists that's one of that's his bread and butter at least as you will know it particularly on instagram that's probably right. where, where you've seen this guy if he looks familiar to you so right. what's up jens I'm doing great, man. You know, um, I'm glad I, you know, came across your content and got to connect with you. You know what I mean? You're, you're somebody out here in this space giving a lot of value, you know what I'm saying, educating people because, you know, they definitely need it out here. You know what I mean? So For sure, for sure, man. And I, sure. I, I see how you're moving. How long have you been doing this digital marketing thing for yourself? Being honest, I started teaching myself in 2013, you know? Okay. Um, so from 2013, you know, I was experimenting with different traffic sources for the most part, you know what I mean? And, um, it wasn't until like 2000, late 2015, I said, you know what, I'm gonna lock into, you know, mainly like the Facebook, IG sort of running ads, whatever, because before I was more so focused on like media buying, buying banner spaces like that. And I realized that Facebook and IG has similarities to, to, um, you know, media buy, but a little bit more effective because, you know, the, t the targeting system, whatever, you know what I mean? So... I started, I, you know, I had theories here and there about, you know, um, using Facebook ads to, um, you know, promote music for the most part, you know what I mean? So I had somebody um, who I came across, they put me on the spot one day and we just took it from the theory mode to making it realistic, you know what I mean? Because a lot of, right. you know, uh, when I was coming up, I was deal dealing mainly in like, you know, different niches within the online thing. So we've seen a lot of, you know, miracles happen on that end, you know what I mean? How you could basically, you know, uh, make content perform better with ads, whatever, you know what I'm saying? But we're talking about short form, whatever. So I took it to like long form videos and stuff like that. And, you know, getting to the point where we're getting like mad views for fractions of a penny and it's still like a highly relevant audience. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing that's the most important. People get wrapped up in, oh, got this many views, whatever. Yeah, but is it a relevant audience Yeah, watching it? You know what I mean? Because if it's a relevant audience watching it, you ain't gonna get no growth. You don't got no growth. Your, your business is dying. You know what I mean? So 100% wasted money. For sure. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you know, if artists who for some reason do not get that, that's just the equivalent of performing in front of the wrong audience. You know, you're a trap rapper and you're performing on a country music scene. And why do you, would you expect to get any results? They see you, but they're not going to do anything with you after that performance. So, right. Exactly. And, and even, even if going that broad, even if some of the people might, you know, for your music, it's gonna be so small in that audience. There's better, basically effective ways to push that marketing, so you know you get the best out of your your, your dollar. You know, one hundred percent. So mm -hmm. you talked a little bit more about the banner ads and things in that space. What were you focused on? Um, were you focused on a particular industry, or were there just like websites? Uh, or what were you doing? Well, no, well, well, before that, whatever it was, mainly like you know, what well, I'm gonna keep it hundred percent transparent. You know, my main focus before then was to like really like understand paid advertising completely. You know what I mean? So before that, I was dealing with brick and mortar businesses, things like that, whatever. But I always knew in my head that I wanted to connect it with music because it's like you you see the power. Of, okay, cool. I got guys who are you know bringing uh, it could bring thirty thousand people to a, a, a website, whatever, and it's like to promote an affiliate offer. The same. So I'm, me seeing that model, I'm like, wow, what if you could do that with music, whatever, you know what I'm saying? So that's what made me, you know, because I've always been in um, business one way or another, whatever. Before I got to the online space, I was in like some of the major studios in the city, whatever, like I actually ran a few. And, um, you know, I came up under some pretty major people within the business too, you know what I mean? So, you know, when I stepped back, whatever, when I discovered the online, actually, when I discovered the online stuff, whatever, it made me go, oh, okay. I don't really got to move in this space too heavy like that. Let me just fall back and learn this thing, whatever. And then, you know what I'm saying? Because once you learn how to market, whatever, you know how to push people, relevant people to a certain offer or a certain place here and there online, whatever, you pretty much can make your own dollar, make your own thing, you know what I'm saying? So when I came across the whole online thing, you know what I mean? Um, it just made me step back like, oh, let me just not be in New York so much. You know what I'm saying? Let me just... You're like, I don't have to be on the scene all the time. I like yeah, let me, the money. yeah, let me just chill in Jersey and figure this thing out for a bit, whatever. And, you know, and me, you know, I'm, I'm, what's the, I'm, I'm naturally, like, you know, ambitious. So I thought it was going to be a situation where, like, okay, yeah, let me just dip off for, like, six months, 
and I'm gonna get this thing right and I'll be back and make it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Took three years. You know what I'm saying? Well, I finally got a real handle on it, whatever. And you know, so I've been actively working within the space since like 2016. You know what I'm saying? Um, before that, I was a hidden secret. You know what I mean? People at the labels would have me, whatever, and should just be going up, whatever. And they're like, "This is God, God, blah, blah." You know what I'm saying? And then um, I think like around late tw- late 2000, 2017, I started creating content. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I, so I still was like, I wasn't so back in behind the scenes, whatever. But I was creating the content, whatever. And at the end of 2017, I was like, you know what? Let me actually start running ads to myself because I'm over here getting this artist on this label, getting this up and coming artist. Two million views here, three, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, let me actually start marketing myself, whatever. And then, you know, so late 2017, all through 2018, and now is like, you know, that's what people are seeing the growth, whatever. Because instead of being in the cut, I'm actually putting myself in the forefront with content and I'm running paid advertising, heavy paid advertising. So it's like I'm always telling an artists, you know, the best way to experience growth in your career as an artist is to create consistent content and put it in front of new people every single day. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta look at how I move. You know I mean, the same thing I'm telling you guys, I'm doing the same thing too. I'm creating consistent content and I'm putting it in front of new people every single day via paid advertising. You know what I'm saying? You got to be careful of people who say one thing, but they don't do the same thing too in their business. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah, it's interesting you say that because I know a lot of marketers have that problem or they just have the preference. They, have, they, want, they might just want to stay behind scenes. But I always hear people question, how come this isn't bigger or, how, or this person should do... Well, nah, you know, I'll, I'll say this. Dealing with a lot of people in the music business, I know a lot of niggas, man, people will change your life at the snap of a finger, and they don't even got a, he- a heavy movement on the IG. They just be sitting back and watching, you know what I'm saying? But I know for me, in my situation, I was just getting middle man the hell out of my, you know what I'm saying? Because people didn't know who the actual source was. It would be a situation where, like, somebody would go to somebody and, you know, I have my fee for my service, whatever, and I'll take my fee, whatever. But then the, the charges got like five bands, whatever, something like that. And they'll tell him, oh, yeah, let's only cap it off at 40,000 views. And I'm like, you know, we could do way more than the 40. Like, nah, just leave it at 40,000. Then when I find out years later, I find out, like, literally, that happened in the situation with me. Client came back to me like, I gave that guy five bands. I'm like, you know, he told me to cap it off at 40,000. And that shit was so light in the ad spend. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could have literally, you know what I mean? So, yeah. You know, that's kind of why I kind of started stepping into the forefront because it was getting out of hand, man. People were, like taking advantage of people out here. Gotcha. Like, you just, know what I mean? Personal leverage. I feel you. Nah, that's, yeah. that's, that's just this is you leaving. You were leaving a lot of money on the table. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what was the, like moving on to like these artists, right? Just mm-hmm. what's your pitch to artists like when it when they try to understand the value of what you do? Be honest, I don't pitch. <laughs> I don't pitch, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what it is, yo? I put the content out there, I educate, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I'm not here to convince nobody of anything, you know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, if you don't understand the importance of, you know what I mean? Sometimes people ask, what, like, we don't understand the importance of put, putting your content out in front of a new audience every day and, and growing your, your presence, whatever. If somebody can't understand that, I don't know what to tell them, you know what I'm saying? I don't, you know, I, I do a lot of work, you know what I'm saying? Like. I got, like, even when I get off of here, whatever, I got, like, damn near eight campaigns to set up for the most part, you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. I don't be having time to pitch. It's just watch the content, because I put a lot of content out on my Instagram that pretty much educates people through the process, you know what I mean? And, you know, a lot of my jewels that I drop on there, whatever, people have taken that, and they went on without even hiring me, whatever, to, to get their own success. So it's like, you don't necessarily have to even use me. Just do the work, you know what I'm saying? So... I always don't pitch nothing to nobody, you know what I mean? I just put the content out there and then drop paid advertising and it makes sense to the people that it needs to make sense to, you know? Yeah. How do you select artists? How do I select artists? I know you don't work with everybody. I, don't, I, I can't touch bases or work with any everybody who reaches out to me on... Well, usually, being, being, being honest with, with you, usually uh, usually I'm, I'm dealing with management, whatever, you know what I mean? Usually, usually, usually management comes to me and I deal with them through that, whatever, or I deal with them through people in the business that I know, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, um, dealing with artists could be a weird situation when you yeah. deal directly with them, because they be so emotionally caught up in their process, whatever, you know what I mean? And, um, you know what I mean? But usually, yeah, like I said, I, I deal with a middleman who, because let's be real, like artists, you know what I'm saying, lots of times don't have the funding to actually make things happen. It's either yeah. you know, somebody else in their situation that's controlling it, so I'm usually dealing with those people, you know what I mean? So, so tell me this, because I'm so have you worked with artists before directly at some point in your business? I, I, I have a, I have a few times, whatever. Um, sometimes it would, but not too many times. It hasn't gone insane too many times, whatever. It's because I, I have a high ticket price, you know what I'm saying? So 
usually when you have a high ticket price on any item and this is in any industry you're going to have less issues yeah? <laughs> you know what i'm saying 100%. if anything 100%. If anything, the only times I've really had issues is, is when I show love, whatever, and I say, you know what, yo, let's just do this, whatever. Don't worry about it. Let's just have money for ad spend, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Usually, the people who don't have to, that don't come up with the funds for whatever, the people that you know, uh, not as serious as it's supposed to be, there's the one, they're the ones you're gonna have the most issues with. You know what I mean? One hundred percent. And I, I'm, I'm asking that about the artist because everybody isn't necessarily gonna be able to work with you. Right. right. Um, there, and there's a lot of people that artists you can't necessarily work with. Right. Uh, but there are some people that are still, you know, working with certain level artists and they were trying to work directly with. They might be doing what you're doing might, and they're ground level and they're just trying to work their way up. But right. like um, there, I, there have been times where just years ago, I might work with some artists and just to, when I was learning certain things. And. Mm -hmm. I want to know your opinion on some of the things that artists can do better or some of the reasons that artists okay. run into problems when working with business people, in, particularly in the marketing space. I say this, right? Because I know it's a big thing with artists, they like, especially when they're dealing with publicists, whatever. Like me, what I do, it, go, it, it coincides lovely with a publicist, whatever. But lots of times, artists will come across a publicist and they'll think a publicist is a scam or this and that, whatever. Mm -hmm. And it's like, yo, you gotta be ready when you deal with these people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta actually have things going on. Like, 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 you have to actually have momentum so you can get the most out of it. Just because you hire publicists don't mean that they'll be able to get you a complex in 30 days, whatever. I mean, now, if you got things going by ahead, of, ahead of time, you got momentum on yourself, whatever, then yeah, you can create a situation where it'll benefit you, actually. You know what I mean? But lots of times what I see with artists is that they're not ready. Um, they're not ready for the, for, the, for the services that they take on sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, like maybe the content isn't up to par or whatever. Like probably was that, you know how many times I've had clients come to me and you know, we want to run paid advertising or something. Now you know when you're running paid advertising on these platforms, there's certain rules you have to buy to buy whatever, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes you can't, most of the time, you can't run uh, dirty audio. You gotta have radio, radio, you know what I'm saying? And lots of times artists don't even have that, you know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. like, before you take a step in any step of this business, just make sure you have all your, your ducks in a row, you know what I mean? And 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 be serious about it, because guess what? They're gonna they're gonna take that check, you know what I mean? And they're gonna do their job, but just because it doesn't benefit, it didn't work out how you want to do whatever, because you weren't prepared, doesn't mean that they didn't do their job, just mean that you ain't have your shit together, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, they put it out there, they did what they were supposed to do, but after that, it's, it's up to whatever the quality of work that you provided them with. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And some people can, some people can screen better. You know what I mean? They can say, okay, now nah, this don't, you know what I mean? They can help you get it, get it, get it, uh, get it together along the way. But at the end of the day, they don't have to, it's not their job to do it. You know what I mean? So all you can do is control, you know, the quality of your, your content and how you present yourself in this world, whatever. You know what I mean? And then, you know, they'll take that and then they'll make you do what they got to do, you know? Cool. And why does what you do coincide so perfectly with PR? Well, because here's the thing, right? Um, publicists, you know, their job is to basically tell a story, whatever, right? So it's like, um, my bad, I got a client hit me up. But um, so their job is to tell a story, basically. You know what I'm saying? They tell your story and get it out to, like, you know, reputable press out there to show you, you know what I mean? Get you an events, whatever. But the only way it's going to happen is if you have momentum you have movement you know what i mean so they'll come to a guy like me whatever and it's like somebody releases a piece of content the biggest issue that artists have is that they release pieces of content and they can't get it in front of a few hundred thousand people a few million people you know what i'm saying well you got a guy that can do that drop of a dime guaranteed you know what i'm saying because we're using the ad platforms we're actually you know uh we're playing by the rules of the internet you know what i'm saying when i was coming up in the online space I learned there's two ways to get traffic, you know what I mean? Organic is just gonna take a lot of time or, you know, you pay for it, you know what I mean? Paid advertising, you know? So I'm a paid advertising specialist because, you know, um, you know what I'm saying? I came up in a space like, you know, uh, like, you know, when I was in the studios in the city, so I remember artists wanting to get in certain blogs and stuff like that, and, you know, people were pitching it, whatever, but it wasn't guaranteed that you would still get it with the pitch, and that person still would get paid because they put the work in the pitch, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I want to say, and you can guarantee, and paid advertising, you can guarantee. Somebody says, yo, Jens, I had a client who said, yo, I want to hit a 100,000 in a week. Boom, came on board, we hit that 100,000. They liked how that felt, they said, I want to hit another 100,000 this week. Boom, okay, they like how it felt. Okay, next two weeks, we want to do another 500,000. You know what I'm saying? And that's guaranteed in all of your relevant audience. With, with a publicist, they can take those numbers and they can show, okay, cool, editor at such and such uh, magazine, editor at such and such uh, platform, whatever, you know what I mean? Look at these guys over here, they're making movement, whatever, they're doing their thing. 
Oh, where, what, well, everybody says that. Where, well, look, they just went up 100,000 this week. Right here, they got 500,000 views. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So that's why it, go, it goes up it, well because you're, I'll create the momentum. You know what I'm saying? We'll get the content seen. We'll get a fan base gravitating around you, whatever. You'll start seeing numbers grow on your social media. And the publicists will put that in front of, like, you know, people who control these relevant platforms and go, you know, oh, this guy's moving and boom. You know what I mean? So it adds social proof to you. So, you know? Perfect. So that's why, that's why, like, like you know, we coincide real well. You know what I mean? Like, I between me and the publicists, man, a few people, we don't work some magic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So exactly. We didn't have kids, kids go from nowhere to like being like a nominee for like the double XL thing. Like, you know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. yeah. So, with that being said, like, I want to reverse a little bit to your personal like business and aspirations and what you're doing. Mm -hmm. I, you got started. You showed you were interested in the uh, paid platform. You, you shifted the music. You knew you wanted to do that. Now, yeah. are you looking to build like a massive company with it, or do you or do you want to become build an internal agency, or are you running an artist one day? Like, where do you see yourself in the game? Well, I know I got, I got a few artists that I'm, I'm that I'm helping personally already that already got interest. They got situations going. You know what I mean? Perfect. Eventually, I'm going to have a. Uh, uh, a, a label slash imprint. That's just where it's gonna go on that level. You know what I mean? Ironically, I started learning um, internet marketing because I had an idea for an anime. You know what I'm saying? That I wanted to get out there, whatever. And I actually got to like the top of Cartoon Network and all that, whatever. You know what I mean? But then when I started doing, yeah. But when I started doing the research and I seen, um, you know, how the rules work, whatever. Like if somebody buys out your idea with with TV, it's different because on the music side, you know what I'm saying? Somebody else drop uh, sign you, then they'll drop you, and it's over. You can still go out there and do your thing. But with TV, it was like they'll buy your idea, and then even if they don't use it, they'll just sit on that shit. So I was like, oh okay, you know what I mean? That's that's kind of crazy. I only, but then you know, at the same time, I was learning on our market, and I was like, oh, okay, I could just you know develop my skills, sit back for a few years, and you know just you know what I mean, market it myself, whatever. So that's initially what sparked my learning to do this whatever you know what i mean just the control of pushing a whole bunch of people here but ultimately when it's said and done i'm gonna get a, i'm gonna have a label i'm gonna have an imprint you know what i'm saying um and uh you know i'm eventually gonna put out like you know those pieces of content that i had in mind to put in back in the day you know what i mean so i'm just out here paying my dues building my power building my influence and networking you know what i mean it's like everyone else you know yeah, exactly put it in that work so you can you do you're building a machine to do right exactly yeah uh-huh for sure. Yeah. Okay. So now, when it comes to your operation, you say you work mm -hmm. times directly with management. Um, right. What What would you say are some of the important things for people to get to where you are in terms of somebody who wants to be a digital marketer like you are? Yeah. Yo, here's the thing, right? You can't duck the hard work. Yeah. You know what I mean, you got to be out here actively learning. You gotta be out here actively learning these platforms, yo, staying inside of platforms and then doing the work, yo. Let me tell you what got me to the money quicker if I was you guys, whatever. You know what I mean? Cause you gotta understand, I was coming up at a time, and it doesn't seem like long ago, like when I say 2016, but I started learning in 2013, the whole internet shit was crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? The whole idea that you can make a living being online, whatever, like it wasn't like it is now, you know what I'm saying? So I'm the only one by myself saying, hey, I wanna do this, whatever. Everybody looking at me like, oh, yeah. This guy's fucking insane. He's delusional. You know what I'm saying? So what you guys got to do is just learn the platforms for the most part. Learn the platforms, be in there doing the work, whatever, and and not second-guessing yourself and doing the work, yo, whether you have support or not, yeah? you know what I mean? Took me years to muster that courage up, yeah? you know what I'm saying? Situations that put me, like, where I had to, like, make a move or fucking drown, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so, you know what I mean? For yourself, guys who are trying to get into this space, whatever, you know what I mean? No one's going to put you on, you know what I'm saying? It's not about that, whatever, you know what I mean? You just got to get good at what you do, and the work's going to speak for itself, you know what I mean? That's literally all it comes down to. You can't duck the hard work. You just got to be constantly working, constantly learning. And, and at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, by doing all this work, running all these campaigns, you'll start seeing different things. Right? You'll start, you know what I mean, Interpret, interpreting things different, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I tell people all the time, it just comes with like just doing the actual work, you know. I could tell somebody step by step how to do a campaign, whatever, you know what I'm saying? And that's cool and all whatever, but as you start doing it more yourself, whatever, you'll maybe you'll see different things than I see, you know what I'm saying? So you just gotta keep on building it and things will come together for you guys. I mean, people don't put enough time 
in the platforms and actually learning and actually running campaigns, you know? So right. Yeah, that process, you're always going to learn something new every time you're Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I hate these platforms being honest because they always change it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you, got, you got to stay on top of it. Well, yeah. How about uh, you use Facebook and Instagram for the most part. So or do you have anything, any preferences about using each platform? Have you ever- Well, I use- I but being transparent, I run I run on Facebook, IG, and YouTube, all three platforms. So I'm running on Google also too. You know right. what I'm saying? Um, but I tell people this, you know what I mean? The most viral platforms when it comes to running paid advertising, if you want instant engagement, whatever, is going to be Facebook and IG. You know what I'm saying? For a while, it was Facebook, like yo, because if the algorithm is crazy, if people are, are are liking the content and you're hitting the right audience, they're engaging with content, they'll drop your cost per view and expand your reach. You know what I'm saying? And you do that enough, you're running campaigns enough, they'll automatically have your audience dialed in. So you drop content and put a few ad dollars behind it and it's going viral. I had weird situations where I'm spending like, you know what I'm saying, a dollar a day and I'm getting like 10,000 highly relevant views on the Facebook side, whatever. And, um, you know, uh, so, you know, and I, I, after that, you know what I mean, I, the IG side or whatever, you know what I mean, it's IG benefits because it has the, um, you know, the, the Facebook ad platform, whatever, that's the best targeting system in the planet whatever you know what i mean i feel like as far as the social media platforms whatever you know what i mean and um you know what i mean so you can get great pet campaigns and the cost will still be relatively cheap relatively cheap honestly being real like the last uh last month or two whatever my ig campaign has been crazy like they've been performing actually better than my uh the facebook side whatever so i'm thinking that they finally started to refine the instagram side because before the um rates were somewhat relative re like like uh like somewhat like similar to um, the YouTube campaign where in the sense that if you're getting one cent of view, that's a good place to be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and I was seeing places where you can get below that, obviously. But uh, as of late, that shit been opening up crazy. You know what I mean? I got campaigns where people are doing like a few hundred followers a day. Like, I mean, even on my end, I've had days where I spent 50,000 ads and I got like 500 followers the same day. You know what I'm saying? So, so Facebook and IG is going to be the place to get the most, you know, um, you know what I'm saying? The most engagement, most virality. YouTube, you can build traction on YouTube too with, with the um YouTube ad platform. Just know that the traffic is gonna cost a little bit more. But however, they are mimicking, you know, certain aspects of the Facebook, you know, say ad platform in the sense that if you're hitting the right audience, they will drop your cost per view a little bit too. So mm -hmm. before it used to cost you like you used to get like it used to uh, be like one cent of view, that was like the lowest you can go. I have a few campaigns that are doing lower than once in a view. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting like three views for every penny spent, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes four. So, um, but that's the benefit. Like Facebook and IG going to be the most viral platform, whatever. YouTube, YouTube is YouTube. That, like the social proof is through the roof. You can't get around that shit, but whatever. You know what I'm saying? And um, so, you know what I mean? It's also a good platform there too. It's just not as refined as the Facebook ad platform, whatever. You know what I mean? Um, now, if you're trying to make money on the YouTube side, running the ads, Oh, that's a whole nother world. But you know, a lot of you artists don't like to monetize. Y'all don't like money. Y'all, y'all, y'all like to build cloud up, whatever. And then we're gonna get a label to give us money. You can make money the whole way through, my guys. You just gotta have a thing in mind. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a whole nother game. Don't... That's a whole nother conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, and I've definitely noticed that Facebook has really been putting more energy into making IG a, a lot more like Facebook in terms of the ad system. As far as but you know what's funny though? Speaking about the IG thing, people think IG is lit now. It's not lit right now. It's still within its infancy. Yo, they, they're gearing up every day. They're optimizing IG to be like a big money-making system, yo. Like, they're making it easier for you to get to the money, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, I've been telling people for years, you know what I mean? Because people have been looking at me crazy when I'm saying, like, yo, man, like, you know, and I'm like, yo, I, I tell people, like, yo, start building on Facebook, start building on IG and go ham in those directions, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I mean? But then the, the inside of me, I'd be like, yo, fuck the YouTube side, but <laughs> that's a whole other thing though for me. I talk to people about this all the time, just people who ask me random questions, I might run into them, whatever. Why do you feel like so many people, or maybe you not haven't ran into some of these people, but a lot of people feel like Facebook is not a place they want to advertise. Like, yeah, niggas, it's crazy. Like why, they were like, oh, just IG. Like why, why do you feel like artists, feel like that you know why because they don't know the numbers yeah they're not looking at the numbers yeah i mean they don't they don't they don't know how much traffic that that facebook has like you know what i'm saying like nah it's facebook man you know what i mean because and, and I've, I've literally taken artists from zero 
So being offered million dollar deals off of just the book, and guess what? I didn't have to spend that much ad spend, yo. You guys underestimate how much ad spend like brings back, yo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, one hundred percent. Like I see mm -hmm. Facebook. Like you said, it's just the numbers, point blank. We we get caught up in the marketing branding aspect of just Instagram, right? We things are so beautiful. We got it's, it's real young, it's real trendy, yeah. and we think of it as like the old thing when it comes to Facebook. But yeah, nah, they tripping. Yeah. Yeah, the num the number the numbers are there. All, every people are watching so much more video on you on, on Facebook than pretty much anywhere. You gotta say on a platform like YouTube, people for the most part go to do research, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's a different thing, whatever. While Facebook, you have the opportunity to the audience is there, you can definitely hit narrow in and hit that precise audience, whatever. You know what I mean? And now you just gotta slap them in the face with the content. They're already there. Everybody has Facebook. Your grandmother has Facebook, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like for sure, so check. Here's a question for you then. Right? I know a lot of artists don't understand the idea. The, well, not even just artists, uh, even managers, they don't understand the upfront money it takes in terms of marketing and improving that marketing aspect. Right. Can you yeah. walk, walk people through that process? How you just can't, you're not about to spend $300 and have a perfectly targeted campaign. And no, you're not. Yeah, you got, you look, man, look, I'm, man, I, I, yo, when I was learning paid advertising, when people I was learning from, they used to piss me off because they're like, yo, you got you to gotta be willing to just spend the money and not even care because you're buying data. You're never, ever like, you know what I'm saying? You're buying data all the time, whatever. So when I run my campaigns, my mindset is totally different. I run campaigns from the mindset of I'm looking for what, what's not working every single time. You know? I want what doesn't work, whatever. You know what I mean? Because eventually we can remove that. And the only way you can find what doesn't work is by throwing money at it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's you, you know what I mean? That's yeah. Marketing field, man. Like when you market, you really do have to. That whole spend money, make money thing is is damn near. Yeah. Real. We're talking about paid marketing, and I, I yeah, I know people hate to hear it, but it's just the reality of the situation. So paid advertising gonna give you the most control, most power you've ever had in your life, yo. You don't gotta deal with like, cause, cause check it out. There's people out there that won't ever support you. They won't throw you on a fucking website. They won't review your music, whatever. But these big platforms, they've already did the work for you, yo. They've already built their presence online, so now you can target their audience without their permission. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you Point know. Away. Yeah. Okay, so what do you, we, how much of the game do you look at outside of just pay advertising? Do you ever talk and work with managers and artists where you say, man, y'all should be moving like this outside of just this paid advertising or do you ever think in like the marketing branding aspect? Man, you, I mean, look, the thing is this, I always say branding is trust. You know what I'm saying? Branding equals trust for the most part, right? So, you know, me, I focus on what I'm good at, you know what I'm saying? And what I do in those cases, whatever, like, you know, I look for people who are experts in those fields, whatever, and I just basically point them in directions. Look, so look, your look is wrong, whatever. So look, go to this stylist over here, you know what I'm saying? Your branding, how you, everything, go holler this, this, this branding expert right here, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, you know, I push people in, in, those, in those directions, whatever, but all that shit is important. Because here's the thing, all paid advertising is, is, getting, is creating an opportunity to put that content in front of a bunch of people, you know what I'm saying? But everything before that still has to be fixed, like, you know what I'm saying? Because, yo, at the end of the day, it's going to make you, it's going to make everything you're doing convert higher, you know what I'm saying? Because, okay, cool. I, I bring 50,000 people to your Instagram account simple, easy, you know what I'm saying? But will it convert into a part where uh, a situation where they're following you, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, they're buying something from you or, you know what I'm saying? Or they become a, a lifelong fan, whatever. And that, that happens with all the other stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. The branding and making sure your shit looks perfect and all that blah, you know what I mean? So, so you know, do I focus on, I, I strictly focus on the ad side, but I definitely, you know, while doing that, I consult the people along the way too, whatever, like, okay, this doesn't look right, whatever. We need to look a certain way for everything to convert better. Cause all that shit, at the end of the day, it helps the ad perform better. You know what I mean? Like prime example guys, right? If you walk inside of a store, you see a Sony television, whatever, you know what I'm saying? When you walk past it, whatever, you'll know that, yo, at the end of the day, it's a high quality product, whether you buy it or not, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Now, it's like, yo, when people come across things on the line, it's the same thing, whatever. They come across some hot music, okay, cool, it's hot, whatever, right? Huh? But it's like, when it's whack shit, whatever, like, let's look at the word whack, too. Reason why people say whack, it has nothing to do with lots of times with your skill, you know what I mean? It's just something is off, and people naturally notice that shit, whatever. Maybe the motion graphic is 
cheating you made. Maybe the album cover looks terrible. You know what I'm saying? Whoa. All that shit convert. All that shit. You know what I'm saying? It, it 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 affects how somebody you know what I'm saying consumes your information for the most part. You know? And I mean, lots of times you're getting the word whack because that other stuff is not taken care of. It has nothing to do with just like maybe the quality of your vocals aren't pop. Like it's not. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, yo. <laughs> that's a whole other in itself. Yeah. You know I mean? That's the thing, man. All of this stuff works together, man. I, I'm, I'm the same as you. I don't, I don't uh, jump into a lot of different areas that don't have nothing to do with me. People ask me, yeah. "Yo, man, can you talk about mixing and mastering?" Yo, man, can you talk about? Yeah. And yeah. I'll be like, "Nah, man." Uh, I, but I know yeah. who can talk to you. Yeah, about. no, we are gonna find experts. Whatever, we gotta find experts who, who who do that, and you go reach out to them, and you pay them for their time, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like. And, and if this is not, not, not I mentioned that too. A lot of you guys, I know you you have something against paying experts, whatever. And you guys saying you don't ever have to pay an expert to do anything, yo. You don't gotta pay me to run your ads. You know what I'm saying? You don't gotta pay him to mix a master. You can learn all this shit at your you know what I'm at your own time. You can, yo. But the question you gotta ask yourself this, right? It took me mad long to get here to learn this, whatever. Do you do you wanna just pause your career and just okay, let me learn ads, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Let me take the next four or five. You can do that. You can do that. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? But do you want to, whatever? Do you want to take another six or seven years to really learn how to mix and match your content, whatever? Do you want to do that or you want to just pay? Come on, guys, because listen, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? We're buying time here, yeah? You know what I'm saying? That's all it is. You want you want to, you want your process to go as smooth and fast as possible, right? So guess what? Go to people who already have experience in this thing, whatever, and remove that out your way so you can get to the things that actually matter, which is creating the content. You know what I'm saying? So just one. A second. Cool. So, and with that in mind, by the way, you've been building your brand on Instagram. Now, right. on Instagram, I noticed that you're always posting videos, mm -hmm. and the content varies. Is there right. any particular reason that you don't just post you all the time and that you very, uh, oh. you switch up your content? Like everybody has their own reasons of doing things when I talk to people, yeah. but I want to hear your thoughts on, on how you, your well, on content. Well, here's the thing. You got to keep things interesting. At the end of the day, people just don't, like, it might look like people just, like, like come there just to hit, see you or hear what the hell you got going on, whatever. But, you know, when, you, when you're running an ad, when, I mean, not it running ads, but but the way Instagram set up, whatever self promotion doesn't go too far. You know what I'm saying? Like you know what I mean? So 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 it's like so I give value here and there, whatever. But you know, I also people also want to see a little bit about yourself too. I know a lot of people, you know, what I'm saying who are afraid to show who they are online, whatever. But this is social media. This ain't anti social media. You know what I'm saying? So you know what I mean? So you gotta show that you're somewhat human. You know what I mean? <laughs> like you're not a, a robot sitting in the corner writing. 50 million lyrics, like, you know what I'm saying? Lyrics to death, whatever, you know what I mean? So me personally, you know, like I said, I um, I give my one piece of content where I educate, whatever, but then after that, it's like, okay, cool. Because at the end of the day, I'm participating within the community, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can make it all about myself and do content all day, whatever, but that's that's boring, you know what I mean? Like, I think people who go far, far, like, are people who have personalities, are people who show who they actually are, so so that you can basically pretty much uh get the people who, who, who gravitate towards you, you, you can find them easier. You know what I'm saying? You, you can put yourself, in, and, and you can repel the people who don't rock with you at all. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's why I do it for the most part. Man. And is there an artist, one, one last scenario I really want to talk to you about, is, is there been a favorite artist that you've worked with, or, art, or artist situation that you've worked with, not necessarily because it got big results, maybe it was a challenge, but mm -hmm. just a a particular situation that you really liked how it worked out and why? Okay, well, I'd say I really, this, I really like this situation, whatever. And she's big on YouTube right now too. When I first came on board, she had twenty five thousand subscribers. Now she's at one hundred and fifteen thousand subscribers on the YouTube side. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of that was coming over from the Facebook side. Being honest, the, tra the traffic was just migrating over, whatever. You know what I mean? And that's Haley Smalls from Canada, Toronto. You know what I mean? Um, she, she, uh, y'all can check her videos out too. She, she's amazing. You know what I mean? And, um, so I, I've liked her situation because her and Mega Man, her producer, they've always just, for the most part, just created fly content. Like they never, ever let that be in this group. We're going to create content at the highest quality. We're going to, you know what I'm saying? Put everything out at the highest quality we can consistently, you know what I'm saying? And we're just going to run paid advertising, get in front of people and let it, what happens, happens, whatever. And they've done a lot of great things. And I mean, they got a lot of, 
good things in, in the cut that I can't really talk about in public, but they're going to be okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, and we, I, they, they literally put a lot of things together, like lyric videos. You're like, for, for a while, I didn't even know that they were doing everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, I thought it was just like, okay. You know what I mean? They would just go out there and get it done, whatever. You know what I mean, they got people that are close to them. They make their own videos, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I, I definitely I definitely rock with, with, with her, her the most, whatever. I got other few things here and there, like, but I really like rock with their movement because with them, it was just about consistently putting out content. You know what I mean, that's how it benefits, like, and, and, and for the most part, it was like a lot of communication too. Lots of times when you work with artists, They'll like, you know, you'll be running up views for them, whatever, and they'll just like fall back. Like, you know what I'm saying? With them, it was about your know, consistent follow up, you know what I'm saying? Consistent follow through, you know what I mean? So I definitely love their situation, man, and, and they're going to be great, you know? Dope, dope, dope. Yeah, I haven't got a chance to check out Haley's mother. I've seen like stuff of her here and there, but I've never actually got a chance to really dig in. And, and yeah, yeah, and it's crazy now, like, yo, because it's like I said, you know, uh, all the traffic translated. She built like a solid foundation under her. So now it's to the point where we don't even have to run that much paid advertising at all. Like on the YouTube side, she dropped a song Stardust like like a, a, a week ago. That's just like a 170 something so far. We don't got no ads running on that at all right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just moving yep. on the strength of how it's doing, whatever. You know what I mean? So. Yep. Hey, by the way, would, would there be something that you wouldn't advertise? Like in terms of like an artist video, or like, is there anything that you wouldn't like run an ad on? Uh, brr, being honest, yo, um, I, I, before it becomes a complete disaster, I, um, I educate the consumer. Like, you know what I mean? I let them know if it's, if it's gonna be something that's super terrible, we not gonna run with this, whatever. But being honest, like I said, I run, a, I, I got a high ticket product, bro. I'm not, I'm not cheap, you know what I mean? So yeah. usually, yeah. When people come to me, that shit is, you know what I mean? It's going to be at a certain level. Like, I've never had a situation where I actually had one guy, that shit was so terrible, but we never actually did business, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, I, I let him know and he took it down completely, and I don't even think he makes music anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it's better be honest with, pe- with people, even if maybe they can't find a situation that works for them, but at least give your honest opinion because... Man. But you know, it's funny how I feel about that too, though. I don't, man, I don't discourage anybody for the most part. You know what I mean? My thing is about making that, make things at the highest quality possible. Mm-hmm. But on the same note, we're at a day and age where there's no such thing as whack, really. You know what I'm saying? The only whack that can be is the quality of the content for the most part. Because at the end of the day, there's an audience for everybody out here. You know what I mean? It's about basically finding that audience, people that that music gravitates towards, whatever. You know what I mean? They, they relate to it, whatever. So, you know what I mean? Um, so the only whack you can be is is pretty much unprepared. Yeah? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? By having shit that like just not up the par. Yeah? You know what I mean? Like yeah. that's it. Now that I fuck with. When you are finding having a hard time finding that audience, though, right? There's some people who got some super niche categories, you know, mm-hmm. or some unknown categories that just haven't really even been fully formed yet. So it's harder to find their actual their sweet spot. Have you ever dealt with a situation like that? And what did what were some of the things that you might have did other than spend more money, right? We could always spend more money and make smart decisions based off of the data, but are there, like, just any intuitive things that you kind of do? Um, for man, you know what? Like, when I'm running campaigns, whatever, if I see – see, the thing is, I've never had something that was super, super niche like that, whatever, where that, that, that doesn't work. I would love to have something like that because that's, that's, that's a, a – Something that's just all, all it's gonna do make you better, you know what I'm saying, as a market or whatever. But you know, when I'm running campaigns and things aren't going the way that I, I and the way I run campaigns too, I run I run my campaign super safe too. So we're not losing our shirt throwing. That's that's one of how I was taught. We're not losing our shirt by throwing globs of money at shit that don't work with it. Obviously, we're looking for what doesn't work with it, but we're doing it very slow. We're we're going at a slow ass scale, or whatever. And then when when we hit the right part, then we scale everything up for the most part. You know what I mean. But, you know, I got a bunch of different things to work with, weight campaigns up, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I'll, you know, um, while running running campaigns on the IG side, if it's not, if this type of campaign isn't working, you know what I mean, I'll use another objective to wake it up, basically, you know what I'm saying? Infuse some engagement, whatever. Sometimes I'll do an engagement ad on top of a video ad, or sometimes I'll mix a combination of different objectives, whatever, or sometimes I'll push in certain different regions you know what i'm saying so there's a bunch of different things you can revive a campaign and finally get it going whatever and i mean honestly being real with you i love the hard campaigns you know what i mean people think you're gonna win by doing the easy campaigns no you win by pretty much you know what I'm saying a campaign performing terribly and then you got to bring it back to life whatever but on the same note with that though 
while it'll get your skills up, whatever, you can't go against the market pushback, yeah? You know what I'm saying? If you're putting some whack shit out there and the marketplace is letting you know this shit is trash, you know what I'm saying? Cool. Yeah, while it's, while it's, yeah, exactly. You gotta listen. While it's great exercise for me, you know what I'm saying? Because I can still make that bitch work. Great exercise, you know what I'm saying? I love it, yo. Yeah. You're still fighting the comp, like, you're still fighting the marketplace. They're telling you this is complete garbage, and it's gonna cost, man, on average, or there's numbers to this shit. On average, I've seen it costs four times as much to push some whack, pick whack content than it does to push hot content, yo. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you're spending a lot of money on ad space, whatever, that can go to something that's better, you know what I'm saying, better, uh, it, it converts better, whatever, and, and you'll get more reach out of it, you know what I'm saying? So. I 100% agree, man. I've, <laughs> just there's situations where I might be talking to somebody and, you know, they might just be a new artist. And so, like, no situation. I don't need no money. I just might happen to see you we're out somewhere or whatever, and I kind of guide them or check in some of their campaign data. And I'm like, yo, man, you you might want to reconsider some things. I, like, I haven't even heard your music yet, necessarily. Yeah. But gee, this response, you, yeah. you, you might want to think about it or at least go back in the lab a little bit anyway. Um, so, yeah, sure. It's, it's the thing about artists is they, they take their process very, very personal. And yo, you have the easiest job in the world. All you have to do is create, my nigga. You know what I mean? Just create. So it don't matter if somebody says this song is garbage. Cool. You can go out there and create five more. You know what I'm saying? So create, 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 get better. You know what I'm saying? It don't take nothing you hear personal. That's just that's just what the what the marketplace is telling you. You know what I'm saying? And they're gonna tell you what they like from you. It's just will you be willing to listen, whatever. And another thing to you guys, too, when you have something that's working for you, right, don't decide to do something different, yo. You know what I'm saying? Lots of times, artists will see success in somewhere, whatever, and instead of staying here and doing it consistently to build momentum, they'll go, oh, that was great. I like that feeling right there, but let me do something completely different, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Complete yeah. opposite of what I did here, you know what I'm saying? That's the biggest problem I... I I have right now talking to people who are so hell bent on this whole diversity trend. Like, oh, I'm diverse. First of all, I can hear that noise. Most people aren't really as diverse as they say when you look at these artists who are successful. And yeah. but two, like if you're starting from ground zero, that diversity isn't going to allow you to build a foundation. Like, man, it's it's a, it's a lie, right? It's a super lie. At the end of the day, and I got a few videos where I talk about this on the gram, right? You're only talking to a select group of people yeah you know what i mean yeah. so identify who exactly your message is tailored for whatever and once you do that everything will be easy for you it's gonna be like certain artists you notice that yo like it's very easy for them to come up with bar bars versus whatever freestyles whatever because they know exactly who they're talking to or whatever you know what i mean mm -hmm. a lot of you guys out here still in the part where you're you, you know you're amateur in this thing so, you, so you're imitating what you what you're seeing out there you feel like you gotta Talk about this, you gotta do that. No, find out exactly who you are and who your message is telling it to, whatever, and everything will be easy for you guys. You're not diverse. No one who's successful in this thing had is, is talking to everybody. They're talking to a select group of people. And then those select group of people are going out into the world and telling other people, check this guy out, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have your core fan base, man. You know what I mean? You gotta have that. You can be diverse and different. You might be multi-talented, be able to touch on different things, but in terms of what you do and yeah. your business part of thing, you have to tailor that group. And I always say, if you have trouble coming up with new content and ideas, then you probably don't have a good handle on what your brand and voice is in the first place. You know, I just made a video about that the other day, brand yeah. identity, yeah? Yeah, they say like, if you're, cause I was having a conversation with somebody, they were like, if you're wishy-washy because you have no brand identity. Yeah. That's so true, yeah. you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, you don't, know who, you don't know who you're talking about. So, yo, that's how you see certain artists where one week they sound like Lil Wayne, next week they sound like Lil Pump, next week they sound like, you know what I'm saying? They sound like Takashi, next week they sound like uh, the Blue Face, whatever. Blue Face just came out. We about to have Blue Face clones, whatever, because all they doing is, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> all they doing is imitating what's, what, what they see out here moving because they have no brand identity. They don't know who they're speaking to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They just riding the wave, yeah? you know what I mean? Yeah. That's a real thing. Well, hey, man, it's been good talking to you. Don't want to take too too much of the time. It's been a great conversation. And, and I know hey, we can always do this again sometime in the future if it, if, if need be. But Definitely. for now, is there something that you would love to, to like, leave artists with? Uh, or not just artists, actually. 
managers, other people who, who work with you and that you see in, in the game in terms of marketing, what do they need to understand that they typically uh, get wrong for some reason? It's only two things. I tell people it's two steps in this thing, yeah? It's, we're going to break it down very simple, yeah? You know what I'm saying? Create fly content consistently. Everybody knows this, whatever. And put it in front of new people every single day. That's it. That's it, yeah. Let's keep it super simple. Fly content consistently, new people every single day. Those two combined, up, you'll have growth. You'll make money. You'll become a mega star. You're great. You know what I'm saying? That's it, yeah. That right, that, that right there, sir, is the name of the game. Um, I fear that it's too simple for some people because people seem to like things to be complicated and look for a secret. Yes. But I yeah. hope that clicks in y'all's head uh, whenever the time is right. So I yeah. appreciate that, man. Um, once again, everybody, this is Jens the Guru. Guru. If you're not following him, him, following him already, you can check him out at Jens the Guru. Uh, but that's on Instagram. Are there any other yeah. places? That you would like other people to check you out or anything else you got going on? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, cool. So um, right now I have a course, a viral tribe formula um, that's available. Um, pretty much, uh, well, it's two parts. Whatever. The first part is pretty much the foundation of how you build your, uh, your marketing system, whatever. You know what I mean? Like how you can control your traffic for the most part. And the second part is basically uh, right now we're going through like a, a nine-week uh, online class where we're basically walking through the ins and outs of Facebook um instagram and the youtube side of things and you know we're going to be going over campaigns and all that stuff you know what i mean and um you're going to find that pretty much on my uh link in my bio on my instagram so go to jens the guru.com or i just google.com don't go to my site my site's look terrible right now i'm I'm, re I'm building it <laughs> I, I, i'm getting that together but go to my instagram jens the guru you know what i'm saying and you'll see link in bio you can get to everything else you know i mean especially that course that course is going to have a lot of jewels in there for those who are interested in taking their marketing to the next level and controlling it. You know what I'm saying? Controlling their traffic, you know what I mean? And if you guys want me to actually do your campaign for you, that's another conversation we can have too. It's whatever. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. So everything you need is on this IG. At yeah. Guru. Hey, everybody, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that. Subscribe, subscribe. to that channel, mate. All right? <laughs>